Hello, I'm Julie Stock, a local contemporary romance author, and today I'm going to read you the beginning of my latest book, which is called Starting Over at the Vineyard in Alsace. Um, and I'm just going to give you a flavour of what this book's about. So chapter one starts in Lottie's point of view. Lottie Shell gazed out of her bedroom window at the dormant vineyard estate of Domende Montagne on the hillside in the distance. At last, winter was coming to an end and soon the vines would be coming to life again as the new season got underway. The vineyard had been in the Loire family for generations and was now run by Didier together with Lottie's sister, Fran. Lottie smiled as she thought how close she and her sister had become since she'd found out she was unexpectedly pregnant. When she'd had to return home to Alsace from her travels, Fran had taken her in. Lottie glanced down at her stomach in the mirror, still unable to believe it had grown quite this big, even though she'd had eight months to get used to it. She turned from side to side, amazed at how taut and shiny her skin was. Her baby was due in about four weeks' time, according to the dates her doctor and midwife had given her, and she was impatient to meet him or her after all these months. At the same time, the thought of moving the baby from the relative safety of her body to face the dangers of the outside world scared her half to death. As if to confirm agreement with her on that thought, the baby kicked and Lottie touched her hand gently to the spot. I know you're ready to come out, little one, but you're in the driving seat on that, I'm afraid. She slipped her clothes on before negotiating the twisty staircase of Sylvie's old cottage and emerging into the living room. Sylvie Leroy was tucking away the knitting she'd been busy with, busy with for the past few months since Lottie had moved in with her. Lottie kept up the pretense of not knowing what she was up to so it would be a surprise when Sylvie finally gave her the gift she'd been making. This was sure to be at the upcoming baby shower which the whole village seemed to have been invited to despite Lottie's request not to make a fuss. Bonjour Lottie, ça va ce matin? Yes, I'm fine thanks, how are you today? Didier's mum was only just fully straightening up after pushing herself gently out of her chair and Lottie caught the grimace that passed across her face as she did so. Not for the first time she worried about the added pressure she was bringing to Sylvie's life by staying with her. I'm absolutely fine. Now what can I get you for breakfast before you go to the doctor for your checkup? You need to keep your strength up. Lottie willed herself not to roll her eyes at the older woman's mantra. Sylvie was always quick to deflect the conversation away from her aches and pains in favour of fussing over Lottie's well-being and by association that of the baby. Fran will be here to take me in a minute, Sylvie, and we're going to get breakfast on the way, I promise. She didn't want to impose on Sylvie any more than she already felt she was doing by staying in her house. Sylvie looked sceptical but she didn't say anything else and luckily Fran chose that moment to appear through the back door from the garden. Salut tout le monde, she said with a smile as she kissed them both. The garden's looking beautiful, Sylvie. It's ready for spring. She touched Sylvie affectionately on the arm and was rewarded with a pat on the cheek. It's my favourite time of the year, but it's always hard work keeping the garden looking so lovely during spring. Thank goodness Frederic is helping me now, which is making a huge difference. I don't think I could manage it on my own anymore. Sylvie missed the glance that Lottie exchanged with her sister at the mention of the man who was now openly sharing Sylvie's life, having been kept a secret for quite a long while. Lottie was glad Sylvie had a companion for her older age, especially since she'd been without her husband for several years. Anyway, how's my Didier and little Chloe? Sylvie asked Fran. Will I be able to come over and see my granddaughter again soon for a sleepover? Yes, of course, she'd love that. We'll sort something out later today, shall we? Lottie envied Fran for the easy way she had with Didier's mum and she was glad they got on so well. She only hoped that things would work out as well for her one day but whereas Fran was about to get married to the love of her life Lottie was on her own and facing an uncertain future. With a great effort she hauled herself back from her negative thoughts. Right now all she needed was to give birth safely to her baby and to make a success of her new life as a single mum and she was determined to do it. Once she was safely in the car with Fran and they were on their way to the doctors in Strasbourg, Lottie blew out a sigh of relief. Is everything okay? Fran asked as she drove. 
Yes, I'm nervous about this checkup, that's all. I want to be sure everything's all right with the baby with the due date being so close. Thanks for taking me, Fran. Lottie didn't admit she was nervous about the impending birth too. There was no way out of it now.